Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to lesson three. That's all about staying in balance. This is part one of two. Today, we are going to use balanced hangers to help us solve equations. So I've got a picture here, not a diagram, but an actual picture that somebody took with their camera. And the first question I'm going to ask is, what do you notice? And then I'm going to ask you, what do you wonder? So I'm actually asking you both of these questions. What do you notice? What do you wonder? I want you to come up with two noticings and one wondering, and then when you're done with that, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's see if something you noticed is the same as something that I noticed. Um, something that I noticed right away is that the socks on these hangers are pink, and the socks on the other hangers are blue. That sticks out to me right away. Right. Something else that I notice is that this hanger on the left, this hanger here is flat, across, and this hanger over here is tilted. And I wonder why the one on the right is tilted, right? Because if I look back at the one on the left, right, the one with the pink socks, I can see there's one pink sock, there's one pink sock, right? So this one should be flat across because it should be balanced because we have the same thing on both sides. One pink sock weighs the same as another pink sock, but over on this one, this hanger that's tilted, right? It's a blue sock and a blue sock. So if it's the same thing, shouldn't it be balanced too? Right? So I'm wondering why is it tilted? And then I notice that this sock right here looks a little stretched out. It's taller than the other sock, than the other blue sock. So I wonder if there's something hiding inside this sock that we can't see that makes this blue sock heavier than the other blue sock. So we'll call it lighter. Because it's heavier, then that would be a reason why it could be tilted. Okay, make sure that you have your notes sheet for today. It's just one-sided. The rest of this video should be kind of short. Let's see how it goes. Lesson three, staying in balance. Stay, staying in balance. We're going to use balanced hangers to help us solve equations. So here is our hanger. This reminds me of the last picture with the socks. I can see that this hanger is tilted. The triangle is lower than the blue square. So that tells me a couple of things, right? For diagram A, something that must be true is that the triangle must be heavier than the square because this hanger is not flat across, like the one with the pink socks. I know that the triangle is heavier than the square. Something that could be true or false is that the triangle could weigh 10 and the square could weigh 6. I'm going to put that actually on the triangle and the square. See how well I can, I do it below. I have a little more room. The triangle could weigh 10, could weigh 10 and the square could weigh 6. That would pull the hanger down towards the triangle. But it wouldn't have to be 10 and 6. It could be 4 and 2. It could be um, 2 and 1, right? As long as the triangle weighs more, as long as it's got a bigger number, then it would be tilted this way, right? So the triangle could weigh 10, the square could weigh 6. We don't know for sure. So it could be true or it could be false. And then number three, one thing that cannot possibly be true the square and the triangle cannot weigh the same. If they weighed the same, if the square also weighed two, then the hanger would have to be perfectly across. Do you see the difference? So because the hanger is tilted, we know that the square and triangle cannot weigh the same. So it can't be two and two, it can't be four and four, it can't be 100 and 100. If it's tilted, then they can't weigh the same. I'm going to ask those same three questions about diagram B. But for diagram B, I want you to try to answer the questions. One thing that must be true, one thing that could be true or false, and one thing that cannot possibly be true. And then we'll compare your answers to mine. All right, did you write down answers for one, two, and three? You might have the same thing as me, or you might have a slightly different answer. That's fine. Let's go through and talk about thing, about this. One thing that must be true. I wrote one triangle weighs the same as three squares. Because 
this line is straight across. I keep grabbing yellow. Because this line of the hanger is straight across, that means everything on the left side is equal to all of the right side. So one triangle weighs the same as three squares. I don't know what they weigh, but I know that together they weigh the same. For number two, one thing that could be true or false, the triangle could weigh 15 and each square could weigh five. Let's try that out. If the triangle weighs 15 and each square over here weighs five, then I just have to ask myself, what is five plus five plus five? That's 15. Do you see that we have the same thing on both sides? Great. But, the, but this wouldn't have to be true. It wouldn't have to be 15. It could be some different numbers, like maybe the triangle weighs um, three. If the triangle weighs three, then each square could weigh one. So at this point, I can't say for sure what value each of those um, shapes has. I can say that each square weighs exactly the same, though. All right, and then the last one. One thing that cannot possibly be true. One square and one triangle cannot possibly weigh the same. All right, so let's just go right into this example. If the triangle weighs three, then each square can't weigh three because three plus three plus three is nine. And three on the left side is not the same as nine on the right. If we were to do this, the hanger would start tilting down towards the triangles. Right? So what if it's not three? What if I change the number to, I don't know, something smaller so that way it's lighter? What if we said one? Right? So something that can't be true, the triangle can't weigh one and each square can't weigh the same as the triangle. Because if each of those squares weighs one, then all together is going to be three. And again, we're going to have this problem. The left side is one. The entire right side is three. So we would have a hanger, make that one a little bit shorter, a hanger that would really tilt down towards the squares. All right, this is really just an intro activity, right? Or an intro video towards hangers and how we can use them to solve some basic algebra problems. So what I want you to do next is check schoology.spps.org to see if you are missing any ed puzzles. This is in the section called classwork. If you're missing anything there, those grades are gonna change to zeros if they have not yet changed to zeros. And that's lowering your grade pretty significantly. So right now, before I call you into the classroom, you can work on any of them right now.